think we have to look at crime in a really important, inquisitive, and civil way. If you look at counties and cities and states, crime is higher in red and Republican states more than it is in liberal cities. That was Jenna Arnold, a Democrat who ventured onto Fox News this week to have a frank conversation about crime. And her unexpected one-two punch of crime statistics didn't go over well with the right-wing goons at Fox. Arnold was invited on the show to be Fox's liberal punching bag. She was asked to defend what Fox called rising crime in blue states. But when Arnold pointed out that the most recent data shows crime rates are actually higher in red states than they are in blue cities, the conversation quickly became personal. And so I think we have to stop saying, oh, it's just this policy by this one governor, mayor, uh, uh, president, and really take a step back and say, there's some defendants that want space, there's some that don't, and what policies are and aren't working. Oh, and also, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can, blue can I, can cities. I, can I? Arnold wasn't even being that bold in what she said. In fact, all she called for was a more thoughtful approach to talking about crime generally. But that's a challenge when your debating partner is former White House propagandist Kaylee McEnany. McEnany went full meltdown mode, arguing that whatever the facts actually were, it sure feels like crime is rising in blue states. McEnany went on to rant about Democratic prosecutors being anti-victim, and the panel leaned once again on their favorite scary Democratic city, Chicago. When confronted with the fact that plenty of red states are seeing crime rise faster than Chicago, Team Fox told Arnold that wasn't the kind of crime they were counting. Here's the thing. Arnold is right, and the team at Fox News knows it. They're just desperate to keep you from knowing it. Every year, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention publishes a listing of gun deaths by state. Reading it is like walking through Donald Trump's electoral map. That's not a coincidence. Mississippi, Louisiana, Wyoming, Missouri, Alabama, Alaska. Stop me when you catch the trend. And somehow, despite Wyoming and Alaska being some of America's least populated states, they boast some of the highest levels of gun violence. And here's something to keep Kaylee McEnany up at night. The five states with the lowest gun violence rates in 2020? Godless blue states, including New York and Massachusetts. But those violent red states share another trend. The most violent states in America are also the states with the highest per capita gun ownership. It's no surprise that in a state with little to no gun regulation and a culture of pistol-packing machismo, people are finding plenty of excuses to use their guns on each other. And the numbers aren't even close either. The Atlantic reported last month that gun deaths were nearly twice as high in red states as they are in more sane parts of the country. Statistically, you're more likely to get dropped by a bullet in Texas than you are in Chicago. Just ask any of the families shattered by mass shootings. Republicans need you to believe blue states are more deadly because that also undermines another important fact, that gun control legislation works. If Fox News told the truth and revealed that blue states with tough gun laws are actually significantly safer than their red state neighbors, well, Fox News viewers might start asking some difficult questions. And Republicans can't have that. Despite how crazy it sounds when it's broken down, millions of Americans are still buying into Republican fear-mongering about blue state crime. It's one of the top issues voters highlight as a concern, alongside inflation. It's time Democrats took a page from Jenna Arnold's playbook and took the fight to the right. Our lives are depending on it.